Okay, so we're going to have a little team competition here. So you guys are all competing against each other on this one. And we're going to play out, which is just like playing pig or horse. Everybody's played pig or horse, right? So we kind of have a playing board here since we can't go to different spots on the floor to shoot. We've given you some different things that you can call out when you're pitching here. Okay, today for this game, we're going to use just fastballs and changeups. So those are the only two pitches that you have. Okay, you can use any location that you want. All right, so you can call out, I want to hit a cone. Obviously, that's way out of the strike zone, but it's still showing that you have good consistency with stepping to a target here. So if you want to hit a cone, you could go below the rope between the inside noodles or um, just anywhere between the inside noodles or um, I want to hit the rope or keep my change up under the rope, anywhere under the rope. Okay, what I want you to think about when you're doing this just like if you were playing pig in basketball, if you can shoot a three-pointer and the person you're throwing against or playing against can't shoot a three-pointer, what are you going to do? Shoot three-pointers. So if you think your changeup is pretty awesome and you want to see if anybody else in class has good of a changeup as, as you do, then I would pull my changeup out first. Or if my low inside target is on fire, I'm going to start there. Okay, so we're competing. We're trying to win here. We're not just throwing pitches to throw pitches. I want you to think about what am I best at when I have these two pitches to throw, and that's what I want you to try to do. Okay, so if Haley goes up, Haley, what are you going to pick? Uh, probably inside above the rope. She's going to go inside above the rope. So she's got to go between the noodles, above the rope. All right, if she hits that, Tatum's next in line. That means Tatum has to hit that. All right, if she misses it, she doesn't get a letter, but Tatum now has control. Okay, if she hits it and Tatum misses it, Tatum gets a letter. So you're gonna, we're going to spell out, O-U-T. Okay, and then the next person in line gets the fresh start. Okay, so as soon as somebody misses, if Haley hits it and Tatum hits it, Riley has to hit it or Riley gets the, the letter. Okay, if everybody in line hits it and it comes back to Haley, she gets to pick a new location. All right, everybody got it? Okay, so we're going to play for a few minutes here. Haley's going high inside. Yes. Nice job. High inside, Tatum. No. There's an O for Tatum. Riley's up. What you want? Uh, change up below the rope. Change up below the rope. Anywhere below the rope. Okay. Hit the rope. Not quite. No letter, but you lost control. Hannah, what you want? Okay. All right. Nope. Not quite. Um, outside of the rope. Good. Sure. Outside above the rope. That was good. Okay. That's a miss. So it was above the rope and outside, but not between the noodles there. All right, Riley, you're calling. Middle below the rope. Middle below the rope. Middle below the rope. Okay, not quite. Good catch, Allie. Change up below the rope. Change up below the rope. Change up below the rope. Good. That one counts. It's below the rope. You can leave the noodle down for this one, Allie. No, that's above the rope. So that's a letter for Haley. That's an O. What you want, Tatum? Um, fastball above the rope. Okay. Fastball above the rope. Any between any noodles or just anywhere? Okay. Just move it. Up. There you go. Perfect. So fastball above the rope anywhere. Yep. You can just leave that down, Allie. Yes, technically that was above the rope since she didn't specify any more specific target. Good. Nice job. Yes. Okay, back to you, Tatum. What you want? A couple more rounds here. See if you can get some letters on somebody. Okay, change up below the rope. Move that noodle out of the way then. Perfect. Good pitch. Nice job. 
Change up below the rope, Riley. Got to hit it. Nice pitch. Change up below the rope, Hannah. No, that's letter. Last time through. What you want, Haley? Um, She's going to hit the orange cone on the inside. All right? Let's do it. Okay? That's all right. Sometimes we don't want to throw over there, right? Inside high fastball. Nice pitch, Tatum. Fastball inside above that rope, Riley. Close. No, no cigar, though. Okay. One more, Hannah. If you hit it, we'll keep going. What you want? Um, fastball, inside. fastball inside anywhere. Yes, let's keep going. Good job. Fastball inside anywhere. No. Okay, a little wide. All right, so what was our total letter scores? O U. O U O. O U. O U. Okay, so obviously if we had more time, we would keep going. And then as you knocked people out, it would get a little bit more of a head to head competition. But with this, too, try to really start to fine tune a little bit. Again, I know we're in off season, so we're not doing a ton of target work right this second. But as we get closer and closer to the season, this is a great way if you work out with another pitcher to have a little challenge, okay, and, you know, compete and feel that pressure a little bit. Anybody feel like when somebody in front of you hits it a little bit, maybe it's a pitch that you're not quite as good at, a little bit of pressure, be honest? Okay, some of you. All right. And, and we want to feel that. We want to get, get used to feeling what it's like to have a little bit of discomfort and then being able to step up there, take a deep breath, and execute the pitch. Okay, so this, just like plus three, is a great way for you to train to work on that confidence and, and knowing that you can do it because you put yourself through that types of pressure in, in practice. Okay, great job.